Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. Today, my prompt song in my March Making Art Randomly Creates Happiness book is Bridge Over Troubled Waters. So I got out this history book, children's history book, that um, I got at a thrift store here for a doll. 50 cents, 50 cents. The kids' books are 50 cents. And I'm looking for troubled water. <laughs> Do you know those um, puzzles, the word puzzles that have, like, uh, they're little tiny word puzzles, and they're uh, tricky things that you have to figure out the layout of the words or the picture in the words, or I'm not describing it correctly, but I thought I would do a picture of troubled water and then the word bridge on top of it, bridge over troubled water. Right? Right. Three o'clock in the morning, it came to me. It just happens sometimes. And um, so I got that turbulent water picture out of, I think it's um, Native Americans in canoes or something. I don't know. So then I thought, okay, I need some background paper that needs to go underneath this because the magazine pictures are coming through and there's nothing... Those aren't going to be covered, and there's nothing pertaining to troubled waters on those articles. So I have some Tomoa River paper in my stash here that I had already painted blue. So, okay, that's troubled water. And I'm going to put them underneath my words and my focal points. Um, how many times do I have to say I love this tape? Welcome. I think I have a few new watchers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to do a video every day. Uh, they're usually in journals that make no sense and have no purpose, but I just love them. And I have to do something with all this stuff. So that's I try to do it every day. I do not teach anything because I'm not good at what I do. I don't sell anything. I might recommend things that I like, but I don't sell anything yet. I keep saying I'm going to try to do some National Park stuff, but I haven't. And um, Sometimes I do long videos, sometimes I do short videos, depends on the day, depends on my schedule. Um, sometimes I'm at my home in Columbia, South Carolina. Sometimes I'm in Myrtle Beach at our vacation slash second home. Uh, right now I'm in Myrtle Beach. Um, and I have a little tiny craft room here. It's actually a huge walk-in closet. But uh, I use it as my craft room so that nobody bothers me. Um, and I love Traveler's Notebooks. Right now I'm not working in that size, but I do love Traveler's Notebooks. And um, so this is just a junk journal, and it's a prompt list that I made up myself from 60s and 70s songs, and it's a March journal that I'm doing. And so here is my, and I love torn edges, so a lot of stuff ends up with torn edges for me. And I can't throw those away because those can go in my Hobonichi. So I'm trying because I do work um, in sequential order. I usually get a lumpy left-hand side, so I try to tear my stuff um, to not bridge the spine, no pun intended, but to try to preserve the spine a little bit because I do get lumpy. Um, my journals match me. I'm lumpy too. Um, anyhow, so uh, I try to, by ripping that in half and cut, bridging it over the on either side of the spine will make it less lumpy, theoretically. Um, so now I think I need to add some more troubled waters to my Tomoa River paper, which I love. And I love this Currents Primo water pan set. Uh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous blues and greens. And this is the one I got just now, uh, just this in February in Missouri at the Let's Make Art store in Hamilton. Um, and so I'm just adding a bunch of blue on that paper, and when it dries, it's going to be so pretty. Um, I love Tomoa River paper because it crinkles, um, especially once it's been painted and it ripples, and I just love that look. Um, that's just me. That's just what I like. So I'm adding some more blues to make my water even more troubled. And now I realize I have to dry a little bit of it off to put my title in. But until then, I am going to make my title. And I'm trying to cover up that glare from the uh, light there. Uh, eventually, I think I put something over it. Um, but I'm working on a piece of glass here. And 
sometimes the glare shows up. So those are my National Geographic pages that I did with um, citrus sol solvent and made them even more gorgeous than they are. There, I covered up the glare most of the time. So I'm going to get out a bunch of stickers, letter stickers that I have from either L Studio or Allie Edwards or Kelly Perky's kit, which I have canceled that and it keeps coming. I've canceled it again. Let's see if it works. Um, I had it for two years, but I've decided to get some other ones. Um, and I can't use all that I have. I have Allie Edwards and L Studio um, coming regularly now and the art box from Let's Make Art. So anyhow, I'm getting out all of these different letters because I love the look of different fonts and different colors mixed up together um, at times. And this is one of those times. So I'm spelling the word bridge um, while my husband is bothering me. He's in the background. That's why I have to do a voiceover. Um, so uh, I eventually get it all right. I love the look of um, different fonts out of magazines put together too, but this time I decided to use all these letters because I do have a lot of them and I know where they all are at the moment. I usually lose stuff. That's why I said that. So I am spelling bridge and um, going to put that down as my word over my troubled waters. So it's bridge over troubled waters. So normally on those kind of puzzles, you would see the word bridge and then right underneath it, you would see waters, which is bridge over or bridge over then the word troubled then waters or something like that anyhow mine's over the picture of troubled waters I hope that makes some sort of sense a little bit so I'm going to add my title then on top of the troubled waters the word bridge it's not a title it's just another word and I like how this turned out I really do and hopefully I will remember to put it on Instagram. So right here I'm gluing my word bridge onto another piece of that National Geographic paper that happens to be purplish. Oh, these are gorgeous pictures. So I dried the top section there so that the glue would stick. But I love the way watercolors dry onto Moa River paper naturally. So I didn't want to dry it all with my heat gun. I just wanted to dry what I needed to glue down. A little space there. So we're coming to the end now. I love this. Bridge over troubled waters. Anyhow, thanks for watching. There are my granddaughter and her friend playing here at the beach today. It was kind of cloudy, so we did a lot of art. But she woke up with foxes in her pocket of her little robe there. Too cute. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.